uh, Coach of the Year Award for the Matt Rogers Association. So, Dave, congratulations on that. Thanks very much, Doug. I appreciate it. Um, first of all, I would just like to congratulate all the award winners here this evening. And uh, uh, specifically, I'd like to congratulate Andy Corbin. For he's the reason I, I jumped from the men's game to the women's game. <laughs> <laughs> if you just chased me right out of there. <laughs> Too many trips with the kids. Um, this is uh, it's a special night because obviously because of Kelsey, but um, you know it, it, it's been a long time, and, and, and I think the very first person I need to thank is my wife. Uh, we've been married for, I think, 38 years. I think maybe 39. I'm not sure. She, she's absolutely a saint. But the, the thing that I, I thank her the most for is, is for, for putting up with everything that we've gone through, but giving me a family that was able to give me so many special moments, having the ability to coach my son. Uh, in marriage for a brief time, um, but having the opportunity to work with my daughter Maureen uh, for four years uh, at Army was very, very special. And, um, you know, those opportunities were something that uh, the coaching gave me, and, and I'll be forever grateful for that. Um, I want to thank our administration. I have one of the best ADs in the country, Blue Garden. Um, Great support staff, uh, Bob Moretta, uh, who's been in the Army for years and has been an incredible supporter for me as my sports supervisor. And you know, we have great support staff. My, my SIDs here tonight, um, Harrison Anto Neoni, I think his, his name is pronounced, but uh, we just have unbelievable support at West Point. Uh, my staff, uh, I've been doing this a long time. I've had some great, great assistant coaches. And I've had some great staffs uh, at, at, at the different universities I've worked at, but I, I've never had a staff like this. The ability uh, not only to get along, the chemistry, uh, my associate head coach, Colin, Colin Mullen, uh, Emily Gardner, are with me now for uh, for four years, Colleen for five, Jen McLaughlin for the last three years. Um, we, we just have had an unbelievable run. Uh, we added a uh, former Patriot League Player of the Year, Lisa Strack, for the last couple of years. Uh, and then this, these past two years, Captain Lauren McKelvey has been my Director of Operations. And, and it's just been a, just an unbelievable run. Um, getting the four straight national tournaments, two NCAAs. Uh, and we don't do that without without the assistant coaches. I've heard a lot of coaches here today talk about their staffs, and uh, I, I think that in my mind, you know, nothing is accomplished. I, I know Kelsey will probably acknowledge that as well without without great support from your assistants. Um, you know, I, I'm honored specifically this season to receive this award because it was such a great year in the metropolitan area. I mean, you had. Uh, Billy taking Iona to their first NCAA tournament. Uh, you had Joe taking winning the Big East tournament. Um, you had Hofstra making an unbelievable run at WNIT. Sacred Heart uh, winning the Northeast Conference regular season championship. So I, I am truly humbled and honored to, to be here uh, accepting this award tonight. Um, finally, I, I just want to thank the Metropolitan Lawyers Association. You know, I. I don't know what year it was, Jimmy, but um, P.J. Colissimo dragged me to, to a luncheon, all right? I, 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 we're playing Wagner on the head coach of St. Francis of Loretto, Pennsylvania, Staten Island, and, and he knocks on my hotel room door. We're getting ready to play Wagner that night. This had to be sometime in the early 80s, and drags me to the Staten Island Ferry to go to Mama Leone's to a luncheon. And I know you were there, Chuck, because you were the first one in line to eat, so. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first taste. You know, years later, I, I had a chance to work with Pat Kennedy in Iona. We had an unbelievable run there, and the, the luncheons in 
Honolulu, you know, he's years later jumping on the Amtrak to, to the garden uh, from Maris College to, to, to the great luncheon. I, I can't, this is such a, such a, a fabric of, of our business. These guys, what they do, Chuck and Jimmy and Doug and Jerry Williams and, and all you crazy guys that, that have been this for, for so long and, and, and I, I don't know what you get out of it other than the fact that you're, somebody's always trying to get over on here or get a better seat at this lunch but at this dinner. But I, I just want to thank you. And I want to thank you all for, in, in 2007, naming this award after Maggie did. Because I think the one thing for us at West Point, um, a few weeks ago, my wife and I were in a graveside memorial service. Uh, April 6th was, was the 10th year anniversary of Maggie's passing. And um, I never thought I'd be there that long. Um, it, it has been an unbelievable experience for me. And um, I, I just want to thank you for allowing us to keep her memory alive. And, and I think it's important that we do that. So, thank you very much.